YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been in my name for a while. I really do just want to apologize to you all. Um, there is no excuse, but I have really been really busy and I've lost track of my schedule. I've actually um, had a little bit of recorder's block. You know how you have writer's block? You can't really write. What kind of recorder's block, but I've been working on a schedule of more videos for you all. And I actually do have some collab videos in the workings and some really good things going on for you guys that I hopefully can bring to you soon. But until then, I just want to bring this video to you all today. Um, this is my It Girl contest submission video It through It Cosmetics and great vine logic um, if you're not fully familiar with it cosmetics it's really it's a really great makeup um, brand and um, it's cruelty free they do not test on animals and great vine logic is actually a um, website for a lot of for youtubers like myself to go to to get um, to get help with getting sponsorships and also finding other YouTube youtubers um, and getting and working together to do collab videos this contest is the first video submission is round one the first video submission is about your most beautiful you how you how, to explain your most beautiful you your most beautiful self um, this video is going to be sort of different than normal videos that I have done I normally, you know, would do a tutorial for you guys and um, talk through it to talk through it to you and explain what I did. But this was going to be different, and you'll understand why at the end of the video. So I just want to start off the video by just kind of simply going in on the definition of what beautiful is. type of definition it's a broad range of what you consider beautiful is for yourself um, I just want to give a little background on myself beauty to me didn't come until later on in life because um, when I was 14 going on 15 years old I had a really bad accident and I um, cut myself from the top here to right here cut it open you know you could see my skull and you could see the inside of my face and I ended up having a big scar on my face um, luckily a plastic surgeon did do my surgery and um, he closed up my scar pretty good but I still had a scar the thing about it was you know you can't have something like that happen to you so young and not and people not know so it was kind of rough for me to adjust back into life and school so beauty to me became different it became a way of how can i be more than just this scar on my face when people see me that was the first thing that they asked me about was this scar on my face and i wanted to portray someone other than i'm more than just a scar on my face and um, beauty to me became something different. Beauty to me became, how can I outshine this flaw? It became a flaw. It became something that I had to live with for the rest of my life. And um, I started to hide behind makeup. It's funny because now I'm a makeup artist. Makeup was always my something that I loved even before my scar. But when I got my scar, it became a way of how to express myself um, how can I make myself appealing to the masses because I would it, everything will always refer back to my scar everything no matter what it was I felt that my beauty needed to be my face with this makeup I didn't change for the worse it changed me for the better I became a person with a story at that time, I didn't understand it because I was young. I was a freshman in high school. It was something that I had never been through before. So it was a traumatizing experience. So of course, that 
so traumatic happening at such a young age, it definitely was something that I didn't grasp quite so soon. It was like I became a chameleon and every day I would say, how can I make myself be different, look different, not knowing that my scar made me different. I still look the same. I was still the same person, but I didn't understand that at the time. I felt that no one's gonna look at me and find me beautiful. Makeup doesn't define you. It doesn't define your beauty. I love makeup. Don't get me wrong, I love it. 75% of the time, I don't even have makeup on. Most of the time when I do wear makeup, it is for special occasions. Um, but it doesn't make me beautiful. My most beautiful to me is this right here. Because this has a story. This has the purpose. This has the drive. This has the ambition. This is what makes me beautifully me and what makes me unique. No one else looks like me but me. And to me, that's when I am my most beautiful. So thank you all so much for watching. For more videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, then thumbs up. Any comments, then leave them down below. As always, thank you for watching. And until my next video, bye.